What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. So today's going to be a pretty quick video, and by this one I actually mean I think it will be pretty quick. Um, I was going through the engine bay of my truck, just looking over things, checking on things, making sure it all looked good. So I thought about checking the blow-by on my truck, and I thought to myself, you know, maybe some people don't know about this. Um, maybe I can help teach some people. Uh, so I'd say for the vast majority of diesel owners, they probably know what blow-by is. For those that are maybe on the market for their first diesel, uh, this is a very valuable thing to be able to check when you're looking at a new truck or a new old truck. So for those of you that don't know, I'll give a quick explanation. Um, what blow-by is, is inside the engine you have all your pistons and then around those pistons you have a bunch of different rings that seal the piston to the cylinder. So as diesel engines get older they start losing tolerances around the uh, piston heads and the actual cylinder walls. And so the rings are there that actually help seal it but um, as it gets older they start to wear out and get more worn down um, and what that causes is blow-by. And so by blow-by we're talking uh, combustion from the combustion chamber above the piston so we'll start to blow past the uh, piston itself and into the crankcase and so what we're going to be checking is we're going to be checking for pressure inside the crankcase uh, coming out of the engine so when we say check for blow by or checking for blow by it means that we're looking for um, blow by that's going past the pistons and into the crankcase kind of giving us an idea that maybe the engine's a little more worn out than we think and so there can be engines with 200 300,000 miles on them with very little blow by if they've been run properly and maintained property properly and then there could be engines with 100,000 miles on them that are just completely shot so it kind of depends on how well the engine has been taken care of and if you're going out looking for a new truck you could do this type of test and give you a better idea of how um, how healthy the actual engine is. Obviously it's a pretty simple test and it's not going to tell you everything there is to know about the engine but if you are looking at a new or looking at an older truck and you're checking it out and it ends up having a pretty good amount of blow by um, you may have the idea that maybe the engine is not as healthy as you may think or maybe it's just as healthy as you would expect uh, for how many miles it has on it. So what we're going to do is actually um, I'm going to show you how I check the blow by on my 7.3 Power Stroke. So all the different platforms are a little bit different, Duramax, Power Stroke, and Cummins. Uh, but for the majority of the time, it's basically the same concept of how you're checking for blow by. Um, what we're going to be doing and what I'll show you, um, you have to have the engine running. So I'm not going to try to talk while in the engine bay with the engine running because you're not going to be able to hear me. So I'll kind of give you a brief explanation now. You can watch me do it on my truck and then I'll talk a little bit after it. So what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to, we have with the engine running, and then we're going to pull off the oil fill cap. And so what that's going to do is that's going to be basically a vent into the crankcase of the engine. Um, I guess I didn't explain this earlier, but the crankcase of the engine is kind of what it sounds like. Um, where you get your main crankshaft back behind all the cylinders, uh, or back behind all the pistons, that's your crankcase. And so um, where all your rods go through and where your crankshaft is, um, this is kind of what we're talking about when we say crankcase. Um, so if we open up the um, oil fill cap, that's basically a vent or hole straight down into the crankcase of the engine. And that'll be where we will be able to see if um, pressure is coming out from around the cylinders into the crankcase and then back up out into or out of the oil fill spout. So on these 7.3 power strokes, I can say for sure that just about every single one of them is gonna have some sort of condensation or fog coming out of the uh, oil fill spout. I don't know if condensation is the right word, but it looks like smoke. Um, just about every single power stroke I've seen of people posting videos or me seeing it in person, they will all have some sort of smoke coming out of the oil fill spout. Most people will say that these things had some sort of blow by uh, from the factory. Um, not really blow by, but you just see the smoke. That's how it is. However the engine was designed, you end up seeing it. Basically, no matter how uh, new or worn out your engine is, you're going to see some sort of smoke uh, coming out of the crankcase vent. What we're looking for is not the smoke per se, but the actual pressure coming out of it. So the test itself is pretty simple. Like I said, have the engine running, uh, pull, pull the oil fill cap off, and what you're going to do, most people do, is just turn the oil fill cap over, set it on top of the fill spout, and you're looking to see if the pressure from the crankcase is actually pushing that oil fill cap off. Um, you'll see it on more worn out engines, the fill cap will start to flutter and um, move up and down from the pressure, just pushing it up off the spout. 
So for less worn out engines, um, and like mine, you'll see that it doesn't exactly lift it off. It'll just start to kind of vibrate and slowly slide off. Um, especially because mine's sitting on the slope of the driveway. It's already slanted back and the engines in general are slanted back, but it'll start to vibrate and just slowly slide off as opposed to actually lifting and fluttering. I can't say mine's perfect, um, but it does have 120,000 miles on it. It's still relatively new in the lifespan of these engines. Um, and I'd say the blow-by is actually pretty good on it. Um, another test I would recommend that most people don't talk about is using one of these. So the reason I'd recommend using a ping pong ball is the oil fill cap is actually somewhat heavy um, in the scheme of things. And so setting it on top of the oil fill spout, one, you have the problem of it sliding off and it's a pain to keep it balanced there. Uh, but two, um, it's heavier, so it's not gonna show as much pressure behind it. And so what I like to do and what you'll see me do is I'll actually, I'll test the oil fill cap and then I'll put a ping pong ball in the same spot. So the ping pong ball can actually rest down inside of the oil fill spout, not like in it, in it, but resting down on top of it. And then you'll be able to get, because it's so light, you'll be able to see any little bit of pressure coming off of it. And with my engine, you'll see that I have absolutely no lifting with the oil fill cap, but when I put the ping pong ball on, I just have ever so slightly bit of movement up and down with the ping pong ball. And so I would recommend, if you're ever going to look at a truck, uh, bring a ping pong ball. It's cheap, it's easy. Um, and it'll give you a better idea if there's any sort of blow by on it at all. Um, not to mention it'll make you look smart, make you look like you know what you're doing. So enough rambling on. Um, I wanna crank up the engine, uh, get in the engine bay and show you guys what I'm talking about. So there you go. Um, you, as you could see, um, testing my engine, uh, it was running, pulled the fill cap off, and immediately you saw some sort of smoke or condensation coming out of the oil fill tube, which is pretty normal. Sometimes that alarms some people. Um, like I said, it seems pretty normal in these 7.3 power strokes, new or old. Um, they all seem to have some sort of smoke coming out of the fill spout. Um, I don't even know if smoke's the right word for it, but whatever it is, some haze coming out of the fill spout. You saw me flip the cap over, set it on top of the fill spout, and like I said, it just kind of sat there and would vibrate off. It didn't have any sort of lift to it, didn't have any sort of uh, fluttering to it. It just sat there and vibrated and would slowly slide off. Um, so based on that test alone, I would say this engine has little to no blow-by on it. Um, which I should expect because it is a relatively low mileage engine. So then of course, like I said, pull the fill cap off, put the ping pong ball on top, and because the ping pong ball is so much lighter, you could actually um, see that little bit of pressure coming out of the crankcase vent. So this is a pretty extreme test. Um, ping pong balls are obviously super light, and if there's any sort of pressure coming out of it, you're gonna see it on the ping pong ball. Like you saw in mine, the ping pong ball did flutter up and down ever so slightly, but it stayed pretty strong within that oil fill tube. Um, leading me to believe that there's, I guess, a little bit of blow-by on the engine. It's got 120,000 miles on it, but in the scheme of things, it's a pretty, pretty healthy engine um, from my experience and from what I've seen. There you go. A lot of you guys probably already knew about blow-by, checking for blow-by, whatever. But for those of you that don't know, this is, this is a very valuable test and could end up saving you a lot of money in the long run if you're looking at buying a new engine or buying a new, older truck. Um, even the newer trucks, if they have more mileage on it, it's worth checking for blow-by. Uh, so hopefully this video helped out some of you guys. For those of you that are more experienced in the diesel world, 
um, feel free to leave comments below. I want to turn this platform into something, um, one, that's fun to watch, but two, that can actually help people out, um, problem solve on their trucks, figure out new problems, help them get a good deal on a truck that they're looking at maybe, or save them from a bad deal. Um, so if you have any insight on it, please leave a comment below. Um, if I miss something, correct me. Um, if I mess up something, I guess correct me. And then do what you can to help out the next guy. We were all in the same shoes at some point buying our first diesel truck. Um, the more information you know, uh, the better. As they say, information is power. So I'm doing what I can to help spread some information out for you guys, um, whether you want a Power Stroke, Duramax, or Cummins. So there you go. Uh, pretty simple test, pretty easy test. It can actually end up saving you a lot of money in the long run if you're looking at a new truck or a new old truck. Hopefully it was helpful to some of you guys. If you're new here, maybe you aren't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to check it out, subscribe. Um, I got a lot of stuff already done to this truck, a lot of videos made for it, and I got a lot of new stuff that's in the works that should be coming here in the near future. So I don't want you to miss out. It should be some pretty exciting stuff. I know I'm excited for it. To all my current subscribers, once again, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. We're coming up on a thousand subscribers, which is a pretty big milestone. If anybody knows the YouTube world, um, coming up on a thousand subscribers should be there within a couple weeks, if not less. Um, pretty excited. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for that. If you guys have an idea of what you guys think would be a cool giveaway idea, um, obviously nothing that's going to break the bank, but I want to be able to give back to you guys. Um, so let me know. Thousand subscriber giveaway. Yes, no. Um, if yes, tell me what you think would be a cool idea to give away. I wouldn't be here without you guys, so thank you to you all. Um, I think that's going to be a wrap for this video. Like I always say, get some work done in your rigs. A little bit of progress every day makes the difference. Hang in there. It's almost the weekend. Just a couple more days. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one. There's no time for me I've been flying from town to town